Good morning. It's uh, April 7th, 2021. And um, on a table this morning, I've got this. We're going to look at it. Um, Godzilla Tokyo Clash. All right. All right. Um, I'm a big mark for Godzilla. I got a no Godzilla. I got a, a big day ahead of me, but of course, as always, but, uh, gaming's a big part of that, no matter how big my day is. Um, yeah, I've always been a mark for Godzilla. I'm a big fan of Godzilla. And um, and when it comes to tabletop games, the idea of Godzilla as in, 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 in a war gaming aspect, there's a few okay games, the best of which is probably, you know, The Creature That Ain't Sheboygan, which is uh, just a thinly veiled... Um, Godzilla game, uh, or any of those, really, those kaiju games, you know, you got King Kong, kind of amalgamation of all those monster movies from the 70s and even, you know, earlier. So, um, then there was, there was, a, I understand Bandai put out a good one in 82, I think, 81, uh, which was uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra, I believe that was... I hear that's really good as a war game, a good hex encounter game, or a hex game, really. Um, I think there's miniatures there. Uh, but it, if you can find the English rules translation for it. Then there was another um, then there was another Japanese game, the Godzilla the Electronic War game. And then um, Richard Berg actually put one out a few years ago. A few years ago. Um, Godzilla Kaiju Wars. And so now we got this one here, which I understand is kind of a battle game. Right here you go. Tokyo Clash, Ultimate Battle for Kaiju Dominance. <laughs> Choose from four iconic uh, movie kaiju. Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, or Mega Megalon, and prepare for maximum mayhem. Build a different vision of the the classic 1960s Tokyo cityscape each time you play using modular tiles. Gain power by throwing trains, tanks, battleships, and enemy kaiju into buildings and, uh, and in other kaiju. Master your kaiju's unique combat style to deal, uh, to deal d devastating attacks and become king of the monsters. All right, I might as well get right in. I need enough. No, um, so... Ages 10 and up to a four player. Um, there's no um, shrink, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I got, here we go, found something. Yeah, using this to, as a letter opener, how crazy is that? But um, <laughs> the closest thing to my hand. So, I have one more. Good. All right. So let's look at let's look at this. I'm a mark for Godzilla, anything Godzilla, and um, give me Godzilla, anything close to a war game. My goodness, I am in heaven completely. All right, so rules, rule book right here. Nice color rule book. Funko games. Oh yeah, Funko games. Put this out at Prospero Hall. Got another one of the games. Uh, Top Gun was another one of his games. He churns out a lot of these uh, games lately, right? Two to four players, 45 minutes. Seems like a nice short game. All right. What do we got here? Using the Kaju card to attack. We got a sequence of play. How many pages is here? We got uh, 15 pages. Eh, it's not bad at all. Player setup, objective, board setup, uh, phases. Okay, I'm assuming this is going to be a sequence of play. Oxygen destroyer phase, action phase, refresh phase, and event phase. All right. All right. Okay. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's just a sequence of play on the back there again. End of 
event phase, and then end of game scoring. Okay. All right, let's see what we guess we got in here. Looks like we got... Ooh. Hexes. Big, nice big hexes. Which is a plus. I always like to see hexes, so... I guess this is going to be basically your your map. You're going to build your map from this. You got water. Okay, interesting, interesting. You build your map from these. All right. Interesting. All right. I can get on board with that so far. No, I guess that that's the map. That it's not just overlay tiles. That's the actual map. Wow, wow. What's on here? This one. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got the the mini miniatures here. That's what I'm talking about. So we got Godzilla, of course. Huh, it's pretty good. I gotta say, pretty good for a miniature there. If that's what you wanna call it. Or we can just call it toy. Be done with it. Mothra, all right. Some kind of cubes here. Stand, okay. Stand must be for like Mothra. And we got Ghidorah. And we got uh, Megalon. Yeah. Okay, those are good. Those are good. All right. Also got some buildings. Okay. What's in here? You think good? Here we got our different monsters. Rush hour. Light engine array. Okay. Different scenarios looks like actually. Okay. This here. Let's see a track. Some sort. I got your monster cars. Dora, Megalon, Mothra, all right. All right. Okay. Still seems a bit interesting, right? Whether or not it is, that's a whole other story, but I get excited about something silly like this, so we're going to look at it. All right. Look at those. Those are the buildings that's cool let's find out what we got here looks like counters planes there should be some tanks in here as well they said that you know you're 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 fighting another other monsters but you're also fighting the Japanese defense forces as well so cards let's take these out Okay, so these are like your action cards, I'm assuming. Rush, Fury, and some card driven, seemingly. Got a number here, and you got actions. So, don't know how that works, but I'm willing to find out. Let me, since I'm right here, let's open these counter to. See what's going on. All right. Yeah, I got some ships there. Tanks, ships. OK. 
okay okay so that's going to be your japanese defense forces oh, good counters man good counters didn't expect honestly i wasn't expecting too much for this game this game was like what uh twenty dollars or something right and so i wasn't expecting too much so get a lot of at least bits you're getting some cool bits building um what is this here looks like some kind of a bunker of some sort complex base barrack something like that all right all right well there it is that's it it is Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Something a little different. Um, I am assured that it is um, kind of that has a war gamey feel. So I'm going to check it out. All right, y'all. Got to catch a flight here a little bit later. Y'all be good. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.